This is finally the AI update that I've been waiting for, an AI that can turn your ideas into fully automated businesses and products. It's called Manus AI and it comes from a Chinese company. If you're a developer who want to make money in this AI revolution, this is going to be very interesting for you. You see, a few months ago, I landed a $6,000 client to build a web app for them. At the time, I used Cursor and CloudSonnet 3.5 to write 80% of the code for me. So essentially, AI wrote 80% of the code for me. The problem though is that Cursor still needed a lot of supervision. I had to check it, I had to prompt it, I had to check the results, there were a few bugs, and I would have to prompt it to fix itself. So I was looking into a way that would be more autonomous, something that would be more automated that would allow me to go to the next level. And it seems that it's finally here. So in this video, I'll show you what's special about this new AI coming from China, how you can use it to build your own one-person business as a developer and sell your services and make money. By the way, guys, there is very high likelihood that China will win this AI race. So whenever you see a new model or some big news coming from China, pay close attention to it. So this is the Manus AI website. They describe it as a general AI agent that can do a bunch of tasks for you autonomously. So you can browse the web, you can click on buttons, you can do a bunch of things. So if you look at the video demo right here, you will see like they show it here, like he's giving a bunch of resumes and the AI is analyzing them to extract some insights. So you see it's even showing how it's scrolling up and down, it's clicking, it's browsing files, you can browse the web, you can make decisions, you can iterate on itself. It's pretty interesting. You can also pause it midway. You can add more things. So I was trying to access it, but the problem is that there's a huge wait list right now. I think there's like over a million people. <laughs> so I was, I was trying to get it, but I, I haven't received the wait list access yet. I was trying to buy access also from someone else, but those codes are selling for a fortune online and there's even some articles about it. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to access it yet. But what we can do is we can check some of the examples here in their use case gallery because they provide a simulation and it will allow us to see what it looks like. So one use case that is interesting is this one, for example. If you are starting a one-person business and you want to sell your services, this is going to start now, you need to find leads, right? You need to find clients who will pay you money for. One good example is startups that just received funding recently. You want to be able to find all that list and you want to be able to reach out to them. And you see what the agent here is doing? So it's 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 literally browsing the web, it's scrolling down, it's clicking, it's extracting information, and you see every step here. And every time it's editing the file, like uh, the main file that you see here that is being worked on with all the data. And slowly it's gonna be scrapping. It takes a little bit of time, but here, boom, it has completed and it has the full list. So now you have the list of the YC companies, so Y Combinator is one of the most famous startup accelerators in the world. And you see the winter batch from 2025 and you see specifically the B2B companies. You have the full list here. You can find more use cases on their website if you open it here. Like for example, this one, find potential customers. So you see here, like basically you're a tech consulting firm and you ask Manus AI to create customer form for you in, in, in this case. And then you see specifically which types of companies you want to target. So you want to target B2B American companies that are in Series B funding and that need AI empowerment. So this is amazing. Look, list at least 15 companies clearly stating their contact information, company business introduction, addresses, and other details, and then make a dashboard. So we're going to see what it's doing. Scroll up. So you see here, Manus has finished it and then it has provided literally this URL to the dashboard. And you see the list of companies, I guess they're here. We can visit them. Yep, it opens the company. Amazing. And you have, look, you have full details about the number of employees when they're fun funded, their funding, where they're located. And then you have the email every time. Is that a real email? Yeah, that's a real email. I see at the bottom. The most fascinating part for me is its decision making, right? The fact that it's able to make, uh, look, you see how it's reasoning? So it's opening a shell, it's creating files, it's executing commands. If I zoom in right here, you can see kind of what's happening. You can create files, you can execute commands, it's like a Python script. So you can pretty much do what a human would be able to do. It's not just running simulations, it's actually doing the work. It's actually creating the files, creating the dashboard, creating the code, and you have things here. Yeah, so here you created this uh, schedule for, for those interviews. It's like 40 interviews in that week. You can find here how other people use Manus and there's some very interesting examples. Some of them, it's literally projects that we received at my agency, Codebender AI, like this one, for example. Uh, this is like a lead generator. Lead generators are very popular because essentially any business out there needs lead generation. And if I open it here, basically, this prompt is asking for real estate brokerages in 10 major like, cities. And the AI is doing, you see how it's literally scraping the web you can see it in real time what it's doing. You see it's click on elements, it's browsing. You see here what it's doing. It's very impressive. I haven't tried the tool myself, 
So obviously, I assume there are some levels of limitation. Usually those tools, they're very good as a base to help you get started, but then they run into some limitations, right? Like they're not going to have the best lead scraper out there. But if you want to have something quick that fits like 80% of what you need to do, this is amazing. So I'm curious to see what it's going to do next. It's still running here. This is something also, by the way, guys, you can just literally prompt it, go take a coffee, take a walk or do something else. And then the agent will be working autonomously, fix itself, correct bugs, and then you can check whenever like the final result is ready. Yeah, so you see here it finished with all the submissions. And then in the prompt, this person asked to make a web page to show the report. So now it's making the web page based on the report. Uh, and then you can even ask it to deploy to a public URL so that you can share it. And I think the URL is going to be here. Yep, we can see it. So this is the website that it created. So you can pick the city and for every city you have like this information. You can pick another city. Yeah, this is amazing. And then there's a comparative analysis at the end. I'm really looking forward to get access to this tool because we're going to start implementing it in my agency as fast as possible, because this is really what I've been looking for. And if it truly works as well as they showed it here, this is going to be a game changer. The opportunity right now, if you're a developer who wants to make money in this AI revolution, is to build your own one person AI agency and then start selling AI services to companies, to small businesses in particular, especially non technical businesses. Because we have seen this pattern happen many times before. When the internet came out in early 2000s, everyone needed a website and people like companies didn't know how to do it. So they would hire either solo developers or they would hire small agencies who would build those websites for them. And those guys would make crazy money at the time. It was not that hard to build a website and you would have like an endless amount of clients. Then when social media came in the early like 2010s, same exact pattern again, social media appeared, all the small businesses needed social media presence. They didn't know how to do it. And you would have like 16 year old kids who would just spin up a Facebook page, run a few ads for them and make thousands of dollars like this. Now, in the 2020s, this is a new pattern that is emerging. Same thing again. Every business out there, especially non-technical businesses, small businesses that don't have engineers working for them, they need AI implementation. They need AI agents, they need scrapers, they need automations, they need a bunch of different things because they know they'll, they'll fall behind if they don't implement it. And that's where you come in. If you can provide those services and you can provide consultants, build AI agents for those small businesses, that's where you can profit massively. And a tool like Manu is basically Think of it as an assistant that can help accelerate the process. It can accelerate what you as a one person business, as just one person, how much you can do. If in the past you would have to hire people to handle more projects, now you can handle a lot more projects just by yourself. And then if you decide to hire more people, you can just exponentially increase the scope of the work that you can produce. There is one specific example that I actually want to show you guys because it's so interesting. We got literally a client who asked for it. And these guys in the demo of their video, this is what they have been featuring. If you look at what it's doing, it's a resume screening demo. So we have a client as part of my agency. It's a recruitment firm. These guys, they lose around like eight hours a week on just reviewing resumes for their clients, which are companies. But what they do is they literally just screen the resumes to remove all the bad ones because they have like thousands of resumes they receive and they have to remove all the ones that are not qualified for the job. So they ask us to build an app that could, based on some criteria, it could screen all those resumes and automate all that work. This is literally what Minus AI is doing in real time. You see, you can upload all the resumes, it can scan them, and it can like provide feedback, it can analyze who are the strong candidates, who are the weak candidates. And I assume that if you prompt it correctly, and if you're able to use that as a base to spin up like some app, that's it, you can have your project done like 10 times faster. You might also ask, well, now this client can just use Manus AI, and they can get all the work done. It's true, they could use it. But in general, they're not going to have everything that they want with Manus AI. There will always be some form of limitation. It's kind of like ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT is an amazing general tool. Manus AI also looks like an amazing general tool. But if you want something very specific that hooks into your system, that is connected to your database, that is connected to your CRM, there you need developers to implement those connections. Maybe there is some specific criteria. Maybe you want data privacy. There's a bunch of different considerations. And for that, those businesses, those clients, they need you to help them. Another cool example that I want to show you about how you can use Manus is you can literally use it to clone existing products and build your own SaaS company like this. So I'm going to give you like a simple example. Uh, on my agency website, we use Cal.com. So Cal.com, it actually costs us money to run because you have a team there. It's like $15 per month per user or something like this. <laughs> what if you literally use a tool like Manus AI to clone a SaaS like this and you make it available much cheaper and you start selling it? Actually, I saw a video recently by this guy, Greg. And that's what they're doing. They were trying to make a clone of DocuSign. And you see how Manus is basically trying to create a clone. It's analyzing DocuSign 
for Sudoku Sign is um, a tool. It's pretty similar. So it's also like fifteen dollars or something like this. It's a tool that allow you to send contracts and get signatures on them. And it's a bit expensive because you have to pay per user and it's a monthly subscription. And so here, what Manus is doing is basically in real time you can see how it's cloning the website. So it's going on the website. It's analyzing it. And uh, I don't remember if there was a demo at the end or there, there was something that we could see. It's trying to deploy it. So here for this example, what's interesting is Manus built the app, but it was not able to deploy it. What you can do in this case, you can literally export the code from Manus. You can run it locally on your computer and you can try to fix it and deploy it on your own. Because obviously if the application is more complex, right? If it has a database, authentication, a bunch of different things, it's probably not going to be able to deploy it by itself. So then you need to run it locally. The main idea here is to use tools like Manus to help you do the work faster. We have probably a window of two, three years of time when all those small businesses will need your help to implement those AI solutions. And that's what you need to capitalize. If you want to learn about how to leverage this opportunity and build your own one person coding business, click the link below to book a free call with me or my team. Now, everything I told you will be useless unless you know how to actually put it into practice. So I've made this specific video for you. Watch this next. See you soon, Codebenders. Assalamu alaikum.